Okay, so testing the 1090, the new 1090XC which I received not that long ago. So uh, on the X299 Dark once again, it has been uh, lapped the best it, the best way it can be pretty much. So hard to make it that, hard to make it better than what it is right now. T-Rex can uh, T-Rex container with springs, so I'm not risking it. And KPX thermal paste, four sticks of A0 PCB, Samsung B die. 2000 watt super power, uh, 8 pack power supply. Then I'm uh, I'm using the capture card to uh, take any possible uh, footage from the desktop itself because it's stupid and hard to film the uh, monitor while running the tests with an 18 core CPU and uh, just monitoring the temperature with the KPC uh, K type probe. I actually damaged one of these so I was testing uh, some Z490 stuff not uh, earlier today and uh, I have damaged the uh, one of the K uh, Kimping cooling probes sadly but well they can be easily replaced and uh, just waiting for the temperature to cool to like minus 90 and, I, and we will go so I can so we'll, I will try to I will try to boot 5.6 straight 38 mesh 3800 megahertz 12 11 11 timings on the memory and see because we we need to get at least 5.8 for Cinebench and so on but the top scores are between 5.9 and 6 gigahertz so the target is really really high using inferno backplate of course inferno backplate so uh, let's hope the CPU will do a very good temperature and using the onboard debug LED to follow the uh, die temperature so just go to the hardware monitor configuration 80 port and set the sensor 1 to CPU die just easy as that so we are closing on the target temperature so I will F10 and out and let's see what happens the Dan Cop told me his 18 core can do uh, minus 135 or something like that that's really really tough it's really tough temperature cold bug wise so uh, the best CPUs do really good temperatures so uh, if we only get like minus 95 that will not do F10 minus 93 so the onboard debug LED hit minus 64 at minus 92 probe temperature so that's really good contact I think around 110 now and still moving with the mouse so it's moving 109 or 108 so hoping for a good 110 so I will see but yeah the 9980XC was minus 120 like minus 123 still moving And boom yeah so around minus 114 something like that that's the cold pack temperature so far so let's see how it will do
Okay, so that is the uh, top score in uh, Geekbench 3, first ever, over 106,000. Memory score 11,127, really, really good score. I was benching at around like 115 to 120 during the run, and then I just warmed up, warmed back up immediately after the test ended. Really, really good score. So 5.9 gigahertz on 18 core, 1090 DXE. Damn awesome.
Okay, so uh, yeah, it's my best 18 core so far, but crack wise it could be a lot better So it always cracks after one or two runs, so that's not very uh, suitable what we are looking for especially for 3d But yeah 5.9 plus for Geekbench 3. I think the max for Cinebench will be around 5.85 W Prime needs Windows 7 But it can do that test close to 5.9. Well at least 5.85 Close to 5.9 is my bet, so in W Prime should be rank 1 CPU. GPU Pi was giving me issues, but really the crack I need to solve, I need to see if I can make the IHS a little bit better. And uh, the pot is now uh, unusable because there's too much ice in the uh, pot, so the LN2 only like sits on top of the ice, it doesn't make adequate contact with the uh, copper itself so the cooling performance is really really bad so it's very very slow at the moment so I have to stop now heat up everything dry everything and I will try something else but yeah quite good CPU rank 1 in Geekbench 3 R15 5.85 or 5850 score something like that so quite good so uh, definitely like doable CPU for 3D but the cracking is just so annoying, it ruins everything really. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. So uh, see you on the next one.